introducing first from the loop corner out of Bomb Squad MMA, trained by Ryan Ciatoli, wearing the white trunks, he weighed at 155 and a half pounds. From Elmira, New York, he is the challenger tonight. Welcome, please, Patrick Awesomely Awesome Orton. Thank you very much. You're very good, very good, very happy. Well, you were like a um, Abercrombie and Fitch model? I tried to do the modeling thing, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what happened with that? I just, I one day I was going to do, um, go to a show or whatever, and mm -hmm. my cousin was like, dude, let's just go train or whatever, and I blew off the show to start doing training and MMA okay. stuff. Yeah, I mean, your nickname? <laughs> I, I don't want to be rude, but who came up with that? My cousin. Yeah, it was like spread of the moment. Awesomely awesome. Yeah, yeah. I think it was actually with the. Um, oh no, it wasn't with the Garvey. It was a different show. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, we were just. Uh, I think it was Raging Wolf. And, uh, the guy just said, the uh, promoter asked me, or not the promoter, but the ring announcer asked me if I had a nickname. And uh, my cousin was like, "Yep, yeah, he does." And then you spread that out. I'm like, "Yep." Let's oh, do let's it. go with Whoa. it. But I mean, you're gonna stick with it. <laughs> I've had it from. Gosh, like five or six fights now. Well, you're successful. Yeah. yeah. I guess you gotta do it. You gotta keep it. But you, so you lived across the street from a cemetery, and did you train in a cemetery? Because no. I read that. I swear that was on like. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. That was on like Bleacher Report or something, where it said that you trained in a cemetery. I, I lived like, across the street from one. Like, okay. That's where I grew up. Okay. So you didn't do any like weird like no, okay no, no demonic shit. <laughs> You're not like a Satan worshiper no, no, no. or anything, you know? Okay. That's funny. Yep. Right. I just remember reading that and thinking like he's an Abercrombie and Fitch model who trains in a cemetery. What's that wrong is with this guy? Weird. He is freaky. All right. That's really funny. Okay. Well, so how do you feel after this night? Good. Good. It was nice to uh, nice one to come back. You know, got in there, got to mix it up a little bit and finish it quick. So yes. all great things. So actually, you used to. Fight in the UFC? Yes. How many fights did you have? Two. Two, okay. And then what's the difference between fighting in the UFC and fighting in Roma Combat? Uh, I mean, not too much from uh, the promotional standpoint or whatever. I mean, go in and do a cage and fight. Um, but I mean, it's just the. Competition's a, a, probably a lot, lot tougher, but I mean, you got, that's with any sport, you know, you get to the top level, it's going to be tough, so. Mm -hmm. But other than that, you know, I felt comfortable, it was a good experience. Okay. And what did you think about your opponent? Tonight? He's tough, yeah, he's an uh, up-and-comer, you know, he had a lot of push behind him, so it was a nice fight for me to get, um, you know, I was struggling to get the opponents anyway, so for him to take it was great, and then, uh, you know, just got to come out here, he really pushed the pace for the game, I, you know, caught him with an arm bar, so it was nice. To get opponents, is that? Uh, just coming out of the UFC, it's just tough. Some guys don't want to fight you, you know, because they're trying to come up and you're coming down, you know, so it's okay. just it's difficult so, here and there. Are you looking to stay in the ring of combat? Now? Yeah, I mean, they're, definitely, I'll definitely come back and defend it, you know, just, just want to fight, so whatever they want to do with me or whatnot, so I'm just here. And what do you think about the UFC right now, the whole lightweight division? So it is, I mean, it is. Like I mean, ridiculous. yeah, I know, and it's just gonna keep getting bigger and tougher, and you know, you're just gonna have to keep setting the game up. And that's all I've been trying to do is just focus on myself and just trying to build myself up. So, do you want to get back in there? I would country? love to get back in the UFC. Mm -hmm. Are you? Is that that's like your ultimate goal? So? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I think that's everybody's goal. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you so yeah, much. Congratulations. Definitely. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, Kristen Brown, Pat Audenwood, Garb.com. Thanks. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Congratulations.